Hi Rafa, I'm Raphael Dickes from RTL Luxembourg's national TV station and Jill Müller, our best ever male tennis player, retired on Monday here at the US Open. The two of you played quite a few times against each other, had this epic uh, match last year in Rome. Yeah, not good memories. No good? <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about uh, him retiring and could you maybe address a few words to him? regarding the next stage of his life. Yeah, I, I, being honest, I didn't know that he was retiring, no? because he was, it's true that probably this year he was not having the, the result that he had uh, last couple of years, that he was playing great, but uh, he's still a very competitive player, no? but uh, he had an amazing career. Um, we, know it, we know each other since long, long time ago, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's fair enough that uh, he decides to 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 stop. I wish him all the very best and congrats for a for a great and long career. Uh, Rafa, talk about the importance about playing at night and on a day like this where the extreme heat rule was put into play. Being honest, not that, that probably during the day is a little bit harder because uh, the the hot is. Uh, it was a lot these couple of days, but during the night the humidity is even higher. So, yeah, both things are tough. Um, but good thing is I think things gonna improve in the next couple of days. So we'll be able to to see I think better tennis than what we saw the last couple, the first couple of days of the of the US Open because playing under that conditions is first thing not healthy and second thing is not good for is good is not good for. For nobody, no, it's not good for the fans. It's not good for the players. So the show is a little bit worse under these conditions. Yeah, questions in English. Have you gotten used to waiting around all day to play at night? How do you kind of deal with, you know, sh shrugging off the anticipation to, to come out and play? Sorry. Have you gotten used to, to waiting all day and, and killing hours to to play at night? And how do you kind of spend that time during the day before you play? At night? Nothing new for me. Just um, do my routine just wake up a little bit later good breakfast gym some lunch come here practice a little bit relax a little bit with the team and that's it be ready for the match easy seemed like you were maybe saying that Vasek had signaled or something or asked you to slow down is that what it was we can check in the video, but uh, <laughs> the the thing for me was very clear. I was ready to serve, and he was doing me like this because he needed to breathe or he was cramping. I don't know what's going on. So Basek is a great guy, and uh, I, I just was wait him, waiting him, and then the the, the umpire said me uh, warning. So I was very surprised, and uh, I was there. I was I went to the umpire and uh, saying, listen, I was waiting because he, he needs, he, he asked me to wait. And he, she told me, really? Because she didn't, she didn't realize that was going on. And being honest, my surprise is that Vasek didn't came to the <laughs> umpire and say, that's, that's what happened. <laughs> and that, that's all. That was, I, I was a little bit surprised that it was not that way. Go. Sometimes it's okay for matches to be long matches, and that's those are often the matches people remember. And I'm just wondering now that you've been playing with the clock a little bit, what, what your opinion is? Of, you know, I played in Toronto with the clock. Yeah. So my idea <laughs> is. Uh, when I say that before the tournament, you can check what I say because my answer will be the same. I play on Toronto with the clock. With the clock, uh, I the only thing that, in my opinion, is good is that the umpires are doing a good job. Uh, if they are doing uh, the things uh, the right way, that they wait uh, to put the clock on when the points are so long, is not a problem. Clock, in my opinion, is just a part of the show. If they do it too strict, I believe that, uh, especially under some tough conditions, the show is worse because you can't play a couple of 
points in a row, great rallies with with no time to recover. So, but in my opinion, they're doing a very good job. Thank you very much. Bueno, creo que empezó el partido bien, he jugado un buen primer set, sobre todo al comienzo del, del set he jugado muy bien, creo, y me he puesto con ventaja. También es verdad que con estas condiciones, pues, eh, si uno se está sintiendo bien con el servicio, como yo me estaba sintiendo bien al comienzo del partido, pues, en eh, los juegos al resto, pues, uno juega un poquito más agresivo y si va bien, va bien, y si no, pues, no pasa nada, porque tiene el break, que esto es lo que habíamos hablado un poquito antes, y, y tampoco desgastarse mucho físicamente porque el día estaba pesado otra vez y creo que sí ha sido en el primer set después en el segundo mmm, todo ha cambiado con dos juegos malos que he hecho con mi servicio básicamente ¿no? eh, el primero lo he salvado el segundo ya no y bueno, a partir de ahí pues he tenido que amarrarme, ¿no? he tenido que, que irme un poquito más atrás al resto, poner más bolas dentro y aumentar un poquito la, el, el nivel de intensidad que por suerte ha salido bien hoy pero bueno, hay que intentar no llegar a esta situación. Rafa, pues hablar un poco de lo que significa para ti jugar aquí en las sesiones nocturnas y de cómo te nutres de la energía del público, te gusta la energía, del ambiente. Hay muchos jugadores que les ha costado históricamente jugar aquí de noche por todo lo que supone en tu caso. No, a mí siempre me ha gustado jugar de noche aquí. Lo que pasa es que sí que es verdad que ahora desde que hay la pista cubierta hay, hay mucho ruido. Esta es, una, esta es una realidad ¿no? y uno tiene que acostumbrarse a ese, a ese ruido. Y también es verdad que eh, con estos días de tanto calor durante todo el día, el, se, y jugando segundo, que me ha tocado las dos veces segundo, es, me, es más bonito jugar a las siete que jugar el segundo. Eh, la pista se queda un poquito más fría, ¿no? O sea que así es, y aceptarlo e intentar terminar de la mejor manera posible. Se ha pasado estos dos días de mucha calor, era importante, ahora viene un partido muy complicado como es Kachanov, que ya jugó contra él en Toronto y es un jugador joven con mucha potencia que, que está jugando bien y que va mejorando. Pero bueno, las condiciones creo que van a ser mejores ya para jugar, ¿no? La temperatura van a bajar y creo que, que va a ser más agradable poder jugar a un nivel alto. Sí. 